Hi, I'm Merrick D'Amato. And I'm a flaming skull. And welcome back to Mind Breakers. Yes, the show that sets your head on fire after it shows you, hopefully, a pretty pretty decent movies. And uh, yeah, we got uh, we got such sights to show you on this on this one site, the YouTube's. Hello, all. You are listening to the sultry voice of of I. Can and I'm gonna bring up the wheel in three, two. One, bam! Gonna give it a spin. Spin, spin it around. Spin it around town. Okay. Right. All right, guys. So, <laughs> so this is a movie. Hand me the DVD. Okay. Okay. You know, actually, I wanna, I wanna read you the back wanna of read the box it. this time. Knock yourself out. Man. I want to. Okay. Go ahead, dude. But first, I want to explain. Like, okay, I came across this again. It uh, when I was back at Inet. The An old man movie gave movie it place. to him. No, I I found this among loads of other horrible DVDs. Yeah. I bought this just like out of a spur. I saw that it had. May, may I just point out? It what? Eat, sleep, fetch, kill. Yes, that is the tagline for this. <laughs> Rottweiler. So, so I saw that this movie was like, I was like, okay, this is a horror movie about a dog with like a metal fangs. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, how, how fucked up is this going to get? And you know what? The answer give is. Give us the back of the box description, dude. I'm, okay. I'm not going to give you the answer to that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to read this out and you guys can like make the, make the choice for yourself. So. This Rottweiler was bred to kill. Raised with cruel discipline and trained to terrorize gang prisoners with his steel implanted incisors, the Rottweiler was allowed to taste the flesh... Uh, yeah, the, uh, the flesh... No, uh, taste the fresh kill of attempted prisoner uh, prison escapees after he hunted them down, imprisoned uh, for a crime he didn't commit, Dante managed to escape the prison walls, but now he has to attempt to flee the Rottweiler's hungry and lethal jaws. Hell unleashed! Heh. <laughs> Kill- wait. Killer- uh, Killer Instinct just got an upgrade. Oh, I'd also like to point out we, we've come <laughs> up with a better name for Blood Monkey. It should have been called Gore, G-O-R-E. Yes, Gorilla. Gore-Illa. <laughs> it would have been great. It would have been amazing. But no, instead... So I've never seen this. Blood Monkey. Yeah, I know, and I'm glad you haven't, because I've watched this so far with my best friend Derek. Dude, if you're watching this, love you, man. I love you, bro. Uh, all the best of luck with your, with your now fiancé. I don't know if by the time this comes out, if they're actually going to be... I don't know if this is coming out before or after... Uh, October, but they're they're bound to get way married. before. Yeah, so like a uh, best of luck in the future, I guess to both of you. Dude, this but is coming anyway, like late May, I, early June. Yeah, I first watched it with them, but I bought this for the wheel, and I was I've been waiting for this moment now. So, I've been waiting to break this shit out. Shall we watch this shit? We we are going to watch this, but before we start this, I I want to I want to let you guys know that. This is probably going to meet your expectations, and I'm going to recommend this to any of you that want to give it a look, like, right away. Because I've seen this already, and I'm giving it my recommendation right now. This has Geo's stamp of approval. Go watch the killer puppy. Now let us, together, watch this killer puppy movie. Okay. I'm scared. Of what? The monster. The game's just beginning. I guess today just wasn't your lucky day. You want me? Come on, get me! Keep up! 
the this movie was <laughs> disclaimer not... disclaimer no robo dogs were harmed during the making of this film and everyone who was involved in the making of this film's brain was probably injured <laughs> Probably. At some point or another. This movie is a fucking joyride. What joy? <laughs> oh, it's it's not ours. Whoever the fuck made this? Yeah, the director was probably on a fucking joyride. He was having a, a wonderful last time. This movie was made in 2005. And it's set this Four. year. Well, 2004, 2005, something like that. It says 2005 and 2004, both on the box. Oh, so you're not so, even the movie fucking knows. Yeah, it's 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 both of them. But, uh, yeah, 2004, 2005. It was copyrighted 2004. It says 2005, but, like, where it says, like, actual. But, yeah, this movie is set this fucking year. Yep. And deals with immigration camps. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, the less said about that, the better. <laughs> Nelson, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you with this, dude. <laughs> what you gonna do when Mindbreaker Mania runs wild on you, brother? What you gonna do when Rottweiler gets loose on you? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? So, uh, let's Rottweiler release no the hounds. give you no break. <laughs> let's release the hounds. Blood Monkey no give you no break. <laughs> so... This movie starts with no, 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 Dante. Dante no, too. No, give you no break. Dante, a long-haired gringo, and Dante no give you no gets break. Thrown off, uh, off a truck into this this fucking immigration camp. He's American. Guarded. For no inex- adequately explained reason, this movie is set in Spain. No adequately explained reason so far. There's still not a reason <laughs> it's set in Spain. Yeah, that that <laughs> it that it just anybody's guess. <laughs> And as to why there's so many white people, yeah, it's it, it, honestly it's it's just and why everyone anybody's. speaks in English. You can you can play a fucking you can play a game of guess who, and you'll probably have a better chance at deciding why. Uh, the press. There, that's my answer. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So it follows Dante gets yep. thrown off the truck right into this camp. And, uh, there's a guard in front of him, uh, guard Grog, uh, Gor- uh, Gorg, Gorg, yeah, something like that. I think his, his name is, Gr- uh, guard Gorg. Groot, let's call him Groot. No, guard Borg. He's a Borg. He's a Borg? He's a Borg. <laughs> That's fucking nonsense. He's a, his name is guard Borg. Why? <laughs> Why, <laughs> though? By, uh, by Leos, uh, no, Luis, Luis Omar. He's, he's probably been in some stuff, actually. Let's, let's take a look at this. No, he does, he, 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 we should let him avoid, the, get, we should, shouldn't ha- have him be rem- reminded of this film anymore. He's been in Los Borgia. Okay. Uh, Julia's eyes, broken embraces. He's been in a lot of Spanish stuff. Also. Good for him. But, um... Yeah, he's he's just playing a guard who's following Dante at first. Like he's just with a puppy. Yeah, he's got this. Uh, he's got so this dog it, with Robo fangs. It starts with him getting sent to with the guy with Dante getting sent to prison, uh-huh. and then a black guy gets stung by a scorpion, and then immediately before the prison's established at all, the white guy and a black guy are escape. Another black guy are escaping. Yeah, they're on the run like immediately, right fucking away. The the only things we get about his past is uh, he's he's hung up on a on a girl named Eula. I thought it was Ulula. Ula. Ula. I heard more syllables in the name, which is why I just it's, left. Her her full name is Ula Lu. Ula Lu, right? Ula Lu. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, he's hung I up. I thought on that her. was her first name. I just thought her first name was Ulu. No, her name is Ula Lu. Okay. So he's hung up on her. He doesn't know where the fuck she is. And Bor- the Borg is basically telling him, you will never see her again. The bitch is gone. Blah, blah, blah. After he kills the dog and him. Yeah. it's uh, The dog has metal teeth. <laughs> <sighs> and glowing blue eyes. <laughs> we get... We get a flashback a little bit after the, the, the black guy dies by dog. Yep. And it basically just shows both of them on the boat, uh, basically just, like, sailing off, uh, Dante and Ula. 
And uh, yeah, there's there's two black folks and they're piloting the boat. And the the breath of evil. Yeah, the the old man that's uh the old black man that's next to the captain. The of one the who boat. got eaten by a scorpion, uh, bitten by a scorpion. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's yeah he's basically just talking about the breath of evil. The breath of evil. It's just the lake is just covered in fog. Why are you running from the breath of evil? <laughs> and, they were just going around blindly in this fog, and he's like, "Oh, there are much, uh, there is much uh, negative energy in this fog." Because and we have going off and uh, neg- there's so much negative energy. All the reviews of this film. <laughs> oh yeah, the the reviews for this are like three stars max, probably, like three out of ten. This has IMDb of I think three point one, and oh my god, it it deserves that. But, uh, yeah, they're basically back and forth thing, like, looking at Dante just being like, what do you think, uh, it is? It's, it's, it's the breath of evil. He says, yeah, there's no doubt about it, it's the breath of evil. And, and, and then he just goes back to Eula and they start talking and he's like, I would die for you, blah, 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 being all lovey-dovey. And meanwhile, they're fucking screaming at each other, you fool, you fool, fool, you old fool, fool. You are a fool. You are a fool. You are a fool. Why Derek, are you, you are a fool. You are a fool. You do not know the way of the devil. Why are you fooling? Because you do not have Ebola. <laughs> you must have Ebola to be a fool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Mary. <laughs> what? Uganda? Sorry. Yeah, Ugandan Knuckles meme is much more interesting than so everything then, in this so movie. So then a boatload of Ugandan Knuckles show up. Uh, with with SMGs and are like shining Ex- their spotlights all around the boat. Except for the Ugandan just... knuckles, that's entirely true. Yeah. <laughs> so they all jump into the water, and then that flashback is over. <laughs> so um, yeah. Then he's 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 basically just like continuing to be on the run, and uh, he's he gets to uh, he gets this little this little cave, and he hides in it. And eventually the Borg finds him and his dog. And, uh, yeah, basically just, like, holds him up at shotgun point. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, you're showing me a webcomic. Without context. Yeah. It's just a pissed off mole. Screaming. (laughs) Sorry, this movie doesn't interest me, and talking about (laughs) this movie doesn't interest me. (laughs) Come on, you know what happens when he gets uh, when he gets the shotgun pointed at him by the Borg? Yeah, he takes the shotgun and kills the guy pointing the gun at him. And kills, and then there's a rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> then he kills the dog. Not the rabbit. The rabbit doesn't kill the dog. That'd be too much. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, dude. If the fucking rabbit just like mutilates the dog and becomes cyborged out, also. No, it's just it's the rabbit from Monty Python. <laughs> So the, ra- then he... the rabbit from the white rabbit from Monty Python with cybernetics. Oh, Borg has really cool boots. Yeah, and um, he steals the boots. <laughs> the second, the second Dante kills him, uh, like shoots him in the chest with the shotgun, he just starts nunchucking that shit around. <laughs> Because then he's walking through the desert with the boots. No, you know why? Why? You know why? Because the flames in your eyes call your bluff. Feel free to drown when you've had enough. <laughs> That's why. Dante has zero charisma this whole movie. I'm just, I'm just letting you guys know that. I wanted the dog to win because at least the dog was cool. <laughs> Because you could tell, like, for, there, there's so many scenes with, like, oh, this dog's scary, this dog's scary, just look at it, it's this happy fucking puppy. Yeah. Half the time, just... So much, so much of this movie is just him screaming at nothing. <laughs> just like, who, where are you? Fuck you! Go to hell! You don't need anything Yeah, because he's hallucinating. He's stupid dog! He's hallucinating the dog. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, do you think this is, um... What happened when Shaggy and Scooby split up? Oh, yeah, definitely. Every time. They cyborg it up Scooby-Doo. <laughs> oh, wow. I gotta watch that. Uh, there's a comic. Wait, is it is it a cartoon also? What? I know that there's a comic of uh, Scooby-Doo, like, in the future, with the, with the entire mystery gang. Mm-hmm. And they, like, Scooby-Doo's got, like, like, robotic parts and stuff on him. And, like, everybody's got, like, uh... Like it's it's set in the future basically. It's like a futuristic Scooby Doo. Yeah, I gotta watch the uh, like I gotta read that comic. 
I don't know if it's a cartoon yet or not, but yeah, I gotta read that shit. Looks really good. I've heard some good things about it. Apparently, Scooby-Doo turns out to be like a fucking great old one or some shit. No, it's not that. That's the future monster. Yeah, it's uh, it's that one right there. The the second second picture. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's the. What one. the fuck is Sh- Shaggy's a hipster? Okay. Yeah, of course he's always a hipster. <sighs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> da- uh, Daphne's got a uh, Daphne's got a fucking bow and arrow, or like a wait is that bow and arrow no, or like a, a fucking gun? It's it's a gun. Just a plasma gun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so um, he basically he basically holds him up, shoots the puppy. Wow, that's a sore arm. <laughs> so, so he shoots the puppy, shoots, uh, shoots the Borg, takes his boots, mm. and uh, grabs a pistol off of him. Uh, finds a picture of Eula. Yeah, that the Borg has been holding this whole time. Apparently, he's been imprisoned for a year. Mm. But he he looks like he just got beaten up like for a few hours. And he's just, like, he looks bad. He looks like, he looks like he got the shit kicked out of him. But it doesn't look like it's been a year, you know? No. He doesn't even have stubble. Like, have they been fucking shaving him this whole time? He doesn't have enough testosterone to grow facial hair. Okay. See, you you saw his body's completely hairless. (laughs) Yeah. Except for the pubic hair. (laughs) Oh, there are a lot of scenes of him naked, and I don't know why. (laughs) Because he's on the run. And yeah. He, and he goes in the water at some point. But then the dog, like, st- gra- oh, because he meets some uh, wandering, laughing gypsy men. Yeah. Well, no, they're not the gypsies. They're uh, they're all uh, Arabic. Roma- Arabic dudes. And it's Romani, by the way, not gypsy. I was wrong there. Sorry. Still. But, but uh, they're, they're, yeah, they're all Arabic. They're freaking Khajiit. And they're Khajiit. And they've got, like, a whole bunch of weed with them. Yeah. So like they're they're drug runners and they give them some chicken. Yeah, they they've got a campfire going in this little like uh, rundown ruins, like in these little ruins. Yeah, and uh, they get like uh, he comes up with the shotgun, and uh, the main one of them has got a pistol behind his back, and he's like, uh, "You Americano? You speak uh, you speak Spanish? Like what are you uh, what you up to?" He's like, uh, "Yeah, I'm American. You got some food." And he just, like, he sits down, he has some food with them, they give him some of their joint, they fucking, they all start chuckling around each other, laughing, joking. Yeah, these guys laugh a lot. Whiskey. Yeah, they're they're just fucking, they, these guys are a pack of fucking hyenas. Might as well be. Jazargo would be Archmate. <laughs> ah, come, see it, we have food. Would you like skooma? <laughs> would you like the skooma food? <laughs> with the craft brothers. <laughs> When walking through the desert one day. <laughs> oh god, I wish I knew the whole fucking theme song for Zabumafu. <laughs> uh, so he finds them. They give him some food and everything. They're, they're letting him relax and everything. Uh, when he, he wakes... Asks, no, he asks them to uh, to take his, uh, his his handcuff off. Yeah. But they're like, hey, slow down. Food we give you. You come up with gun, uh, this, uh, with a uh, with a gun. We give you food. We give you whiskey. We give you smoke. Okay, that's fine. What, when you plan? How are you planning to pay? Yeah, how are you gonna pay, man? Uh, and, and then they like a uh, main one looks at his boots and like, <laughs> ah, nice boots. And I think they applaud him for having killed the. Uh... <laughs> not not outright, but like at first they're just kind of like shifty eyed, like oh, this guy killed somebody for these boots. It's like uh, they're like they're all kind of like shifty. Then they all start joking and smiling. And then they, they go back to eating and, and fucking joking around. And the dog shows up outside the camp, uh, like uh, outside their little campfire. And Dante hears it. And he's like, I hear something. There's something out there. And they're like, nah, you're just being crazy, man. And then, like, uh, basically he passes out. When he wakes up, his boots are gone. And his shotgun's gone. <laughs> yeah. But they left him his pistol. They left him a pistol. His they pistol. Left him that. Yeah, they left him. The and pistol. they left him a pair of shoes. Yep. So they were a lot nicer than they probably needed to be. Well, it's not like he was gonna take his own shoes with him. Mm. Because like 
he got a new pair of boots, so yeah. fuck it. It's not like he needs his fucking Converse All Stars anymore. <laughs> He's got a nice pair of cowboy boots. Had. Yeah. But um, the dog got up from being shot. Yep. And sniffed at the Borg's feet because he sees that, you know, his boots are gone. Mm-hmm. So he picks up the track from the, the Borg's feet. And the Borg was actually still alive at this point. Which, and the evil why mist, the fuck? The evil miss brings the dog back to life. Yeah. The Borg actually sicks the dog on him, tells him, find him, kill him. But it's like, you've been shot fucking, what, like, what has it been? Like, maybe a half hour ago? And he's been alive this entire time. Like, mm. he hasn't quite yet let go of the the strand of life. After the half hour of being shot to fuck by two bl- uh, by two fucking by two blasts in the chest, three, yeah, three cut in the fucking chest. two to the chest. Still though, like he's he's fucking still alive after this shit. Amazing. Like the bad guys can fucking cling to to life for hours on end, mm. but the second a good person gets even. One tooth sunk into them? They die. They're dead. Oh, this this dog has fucking, like, as, acidic, like... Saliva. Like, he's got, yeah, he's got just venomous fucking fluid dripping from his fangs. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, like, he's fucking, his saliva is goddamn battery acid. Like, it's stupid. But, it's, it's, it's all for, it's all in the movie. You know, it's all it's all in good fun. <laughs> For this thing, it's all in good fun. Right, right? Righty roo. So So uh he wakes up, he takes the pistol, and uh he goes down to the river and uh he leaves his clothes, goes mm-hmm. uh goes skinny dipping in the lake trying to catch a fish. Catches one in his hand, yeah. it gets away, and then the dog uh, gets to his camp. Throws his gun in the river. <laughs> yeah. Because the dog is a lot smarter than he is. <laughs> yep. He, he goes to the other end of the river and grabs a rock to hit this fucking dog with. And, and the dog, first thing he goes for, gun. Into the, into the lake. Hey, Rottweiler. Boom. Hey, Rottweiler. Looks like I have all the horses. Hey, Dante. Looks like you're on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> But, like, just the fact that he goes for this rock instead of going to grab his gun mm. is, like, wow, what'd you expect? And, like, the second that dog picks up the gun and just dumps it in the fucking lake, yeah. he might as well have looked at Dante and gone, ha, got him! <laughs> just looked at Dante and gone, ha, ha. Yeah. Be Nelson from The Simpsons. Yeah, exactly. Just or Nelson neener, from neeners. real... Or even be Nelson from real life. I'd accept that. Just fucking neener neeners at him. Yucking it up. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> then it flashes back a little bit after this, and it's it's Eula and, Eula and Dante uh, basically meeting uh, meeting uh, Kufar, mm-hmm. who's the, the big dude, who's, uh, I'm guessing, the head of PSI, like yep. uh, the border, border police. And he he shows up. They, he starts asking them questions, tracks them down, like asks them questions, like why? Uh, what are you doing over here? And they and they're both like, uh, oh, we're playing a game. We're playing infiltration, which is a fucking stupid game. stupid excuse. It's it's basically a game where they try to sneak into places, and uh, you play it with real people in real places. Stupid because they're bored, you know. Mm. Because they are fucking bored. That's purely the excuse for all of this, is because they were bored. And it's like, seriously? That's the lamest excuse. Like, that's just the dumbest. If That's like, if the cops fucking pull you over one day on the highway, and they're like, yeah, why were you running through the fucking... Uh, why, why were, were you, you running? running why were you running? Why were you running? Why were you running? And you go to them, oh, I was playing Frogger. IRL. Like, the fuck do you think's gonna happen? You're stupid, you're going to jail? Yeah! <laughs> Not just that! You're being committed? You're being... You're being... Oh, maybe. That, that's always a possibility. But you're going to be fined, prosecuted, 
and jailed for, you know, as long as, as long as we fucking feel. Also, if you ever fucking do that again, we're catching you and beating your ass. <laughs> again. But... Uh, but this one, he, he's he's a little more lenient. This Kufar. Yeah. He he goes, "What's your name?" Uh, to the guy, he goes, "Dante." What's what's your name, little lady? Uh, Ulalu. Merrick starts fucking dying from this name. <laughs> it's a stupid name. <laughs> it is a dumb name. But anyway, so so he goes, "Ula, come with me. Come 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 here. Come come with me." So he goes. He goes. He t- he walks her over to his little uh, truck that he bumped up in. Yeah. And uh, they go in the back seat, and uh, flashbacks over for now. But uh, they, you can you can hear the moans. You can hear the fucking moans in there. And uh, Dante's just sitting there getting cucked while uh, while all these guards are watching over him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he uh, he runs all the way to a uh, little farmhouse where. Uh, we see a mother and her daughter uh, prepping stuff in a cellar, mm. and uh, yeah, the 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 cellar is full of like you know pasta sauces and a bunch of other things. Like I'm guessing they're keeping salsa or whatever down there, and uh, yeah, so yeah, so he the had little girl. The, the little girl runs off her own way. The mom ends up raping him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's really no other way to put it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. what happens. Uh huh. Dante really just gets the shit end of the fucking stick in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. He he cannot catch a fucking break, dude. This entire movie, like his entire life story up till that moment, has been fucked, man. Just so fucked. Like, there's no hope for him. There's not. Like, not a fucking, not a bit, dude. From, honestly, what do you think could he could have done differently? From, from when, from when he's on the boat with this girl? Onwards, what do you think he could have done different? Uh, hey, this infiltration thing is stupid. Let's turn around and go home. That's, that's step one. <laughs> I suppose that's step one. <laughs> It's only step needed. <laughs> it's only step everything. <laughs> but but there he is. And and she's she's getting plowed in the back of this car. Yeah. And this this Marilyn Monroe looking bitch walks up and she just like she gives him a look and is like, got a light. It's like No, no I don't have a lighter. He does he does actually pick up a, a piece of pipe off the floor and he stuffs it in his jacket. And he's got a he's got a nice little red jacket on him. And then, are you here alone? Yeah. No. No. And, and that's the. And then she's like, no. And then she starts laughing. Yeah. This character's not done being a in the movie. This either. character is half baked. In this more character... ways than one. Oh yeah, definitely. We'll get to that later. <laughs> but this this character is like they just they had this idea where it's like oh we'll have this ominous ass looking bitch that looks like Marilyn Monroe yeah and we'll have her just walk up and 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 kind of tempt tempt uh, tempt Dante a little you know just just give him throw him a little bit of a bone you know yeah but he he just turns that shit down you know that I that I have no I have no problem with like that that he's within his full rights because honestly you don't stick your dick in crazy Ugh. And that's that's too much crazy right there. Then again, his life is fucked by a lot more crazy than just that. So mm. I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't have taken. Maybe he, maybe you should have taken it. What do you think? He shouldn't have taken it. He shouldn't have taken it. So we <laughs> find out we chose down. Though. He chose down. He chose down. Too late now. Mm-hmm. His um, unfortunately, he, his goal is to get to some port Las Vegas town place. Yeah. And after oh. the uh, the child the dog the mom ripped apart by the dog, <laughs> he and the kid and the kid. This is after the fucking by the way. Yeah, he and the kid get in a truck, and a lot of long stuff happens on the truck. Well, let's just say the dog Terminator jumps onto the truck. Yeah, gets inside the truck. Uh huh. Kills the black woman who was in the truck. Yeah, she was she was fixing a radio or something in the front. Um. After he gets an- yet another set of clothes. They be, man, them shoot the dog out of the truck. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> and then he leaves the kid with the male driver of the truck. Yeah. Presumably to be fine for the rest of the movie because we never see them again. <laughs> oh, we're missing we're missing one guy like one big oh, thing. Yeah. It's possibly Which the one? best part Which... of this movie. Oh yes! So, so I'll let you take this one. Yeah, so <laughs> So after the this whole like hold up scene in the house, like before uh before the mother dies, yeah. she gets this uh like uh he takes the shotgun from her. Shotgun. And he immediately gets the shotgun taken away from him by this dog. Yes. So the dog just takes the shotgun. Yeah, he sticks. Well, no, he sticks the shotgun. Through it's a the different door. shotgun from before. This is yeah. a standard like lever. Yeah, she's got just like this regular ass. The like, lever action shotgun. Yeah, lever action, and and he sticks it through the door. Through the door. Like uh, he sticks it through a hole in the door that she blasted through. Hole in the door. Yeah, sticks it through. Dog takes it away. Takes the gun away. Just they run out to the to the yard. She gets eaten like right in front of the cellar she's door. Done. In front of her child. She's done. She dies. Dead. And then Dante shows up, opens shows up, the cellar door. Opens the cellar door. Dog jumps in, gets mm-hmm. locked in there by locked Dante. In. Yep. Dante lo- uh, like uh, closes it up, runs away with the little girl, and then the dog starts jumping up against the cellar door, and there's a chicken in front of the door, yeah. and the chicken's just like looking at the cellar door get bumped up more and more and more, until the dog eventually just blasts right through, and the second it does, the, the fucking chicken just goes, <laughs> and has like a screaming, like, and scream, like, has like a shocked face. The chicken is the best actor in the movie. <laughs> this, this scene is literally worth watching this movie for alone. Though I, I'm, I'm not exaggerating when I'm I say either. that the chicken shows more emotion than any <laughs> other character in the film. No, I feel the dog's got more personality. Well, it doesn't really show emote. It has personality, but it doesn't have a, it doesn't emote. The chicken, Aww. the chicken fucking emotes. Pumper's got emotions, though. Mm. You hear him, like, whining and everything when his master dies, when, uh, when the Borg dies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. He's uh, it's so sad for Pumper's. But like the second he blasts out that cellar door and the and the the fucking chicken just <laughs> fucking cracked me up the first time I watched it. We rewatched it several times while made, watching this. One. Made me and my best friend laugh when we watched it the second time. And you fucking died laughing when you saw this shit. Well, it's funny. <laughs> it's worth watching, folks. If you have the time, just literally grab this thing, watch it. Like, it's it's only, like, what, an hour and a half? Yep. Yeah, it's only... A, no, it's about two hours, actually. Fuck, really? Hours. It was about two hours. And 90, 98 minutes. No, almost two hours. No, that's more like just over an, uh, just over an hour and a half. Yeah, a, a bit more, okay, close to two hours. Though. No. A little, a little Not over really. an hour and a half. A little over an hour and a half. Eight minutes over an hour and a half. Still. But, uh, yeah, if you have the time, just fucking just pop this shit on, man. Because, like, this is one of the best finds I've ever, you know, like, I've ever seen. Like, I've had the pleasure of just picking up and being like, oh, what's this? And then figuring out what it was. This was, this was a, a diamond in the sand, man. Well, like, no, this was at least... This was at least, like, one of those little, like, uh... This was, like, walking around in Skyrim and then just, like, looking at a box. And it's like, oh, what could be in here? Cabbages, cabbages, cabbages. Oh, look, there's a soul gem. There's a greater soul gem in this. Oh, it's it might not be filled, but it's a greater soul gem, though. No, but the whole... The movie itself is, oh, look, it's... Oh, look, a grand soul gem with a weak soul. Fuck! <laughs> 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 this this movie is you killed a kajit and you stole his skooma. <laughs> oh god, that's cool. That is okay. He's showing me a Deadpool figure inside of like this Gundam esque like missile fire. Yes, with that has its own legs. That's awesome. It's from the X Men Origins Wolverine movie. That's cool. <laughs> if you want it, you can't have it because it's currently unavailable. Of course it is. <laughs> My God! Sorry, I'm I'm not interested in talking about this film anymore, and I'm just doing other things. the The armored truck scene is is actually kind of like a little bit relevant. Yeah, because there we we see the only possibly possibly the only two people that survive this like encounter with the Rottweiler, mm. which is the driver who was named Nacho. Nacho driver. Yeah, and the little girl who was uh, Esperanza. Right, her name gets screamed a lot. Yeah, but like the only two people probably that survived this whole movie because this 
This fucking dog, I said it a bunch of times while we were watching it, mm-hmm. but this dog might as well have the character for heaven on his back, just like the heaven kanji on his back, because of just his pure drive to just exterminate everybody. Because this dog just fucking, this, go- this dog believes in just masats. He's just literally going after everyone like, masats! Everybody that Dante has ever come in contact with will be exterminated. Yep. Like, everyone he's ever loved, anyone he's known, cared for, will be destroyed. Wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me, are you telling me you saw this Dante guy? That's a paddle up. That, that's a, that's a murdering right there, dude. That is, that is, you will be destroyed. You will be destroyed. Like, he, he just goes after everybody. The fucking mother that, that he bangs, dot, dead. Fucking... The, the people on his boat, dead. The the prisoner that was attached to him, dead. I know, amazing. I love it. But So, and we, he finally, finally gets everyone. to the port town. And oh, I'm not God. entirely convinced it is in the... I, I thought it was a, fl- a very long flashback Funny. at first. And he meets... He runs into Eminem. <laughs> yeah. Who gives... One of the only, the only other white boy in this whole movie, basically. And he's like, uh, yeah, I, I know the woman. I'll bring you to the woman. But it's the Marilyn Manson woman. No, <laughs> no not the, the Marilyn, Marilyn Manson, Monroe the woman. The Marilyn Monroe. There's a very big difference, Merrick, between Marilyn Manson boy and, and Marilyn Monroe girl. Okay? But he, we do meet the... the Both Mar- are in this. Both are in this for no reason at all. But they are two completely different characters. <laughs> Very much so. But yeah, he takes her to this Marilyn Manson girl, uh, Marilyn Monroe girl. Fuck, I did it now because you <laughs> fucked me up. My God. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Takes him to Marilyn Monroe. And she turns around and says the exact same thing to him she did a year ago. She has no purpose. She has no purpose. Aside from trying to be Harley Quinn, I guess. But Wow. Like, he just, he takes her to this girl, and uh, I guess Eminem is like, uh, he's he's not Eminem, though. No. He's, he's like, he's a, he's a shitty, like, sugar-free Eminem. So he's Vanilla Ice? He's Vanilla Ice. <laughs> takes, uh, uh, Vanilla Ice, like, looks at him and is like, is like, uh, how do you know, how do you know that's not her? It's like, uh, like they're all, they're all whores, man. Like, Here's how do, some drugs. How do you know it's not her? Here, take some of this shit. It, like, gives them, and like, instead, a little package. And then she can be, uh, and she can be anyone you want all night. Yeah. And, um, instead of accepting the generous offer or politely declining, he bout, he decks him in the face. <laughs> and then just leaves. Bap. <laughs> but before this, actually, like, when he was taking him to see the girl. When he was taking drugs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when he was taking him to see the girl, uh, the like uh, the money he gives him basically gets split into like a, he, he tears, he the, bill tears the bill in half and gives him half of the bill. And it's like, you get the rest when I see her. So and just like taking her there and then just giving him the re- like the other bill. He should have just taken the money back after he punched him in the fucking face. But that that being said, though, it, it wouldn't have really mattered because he's he's giving him a torn bill. And if you've ever seen a torn bill... I work you know at a pawn how, shop and I've seen several. Yeah, but, like, you know, however that fucker, like, that's giving you this bill got that, it's dishonest money. It's, it's like, the second you see that piece of tape on that on that bill, you, you know they did some dishonest shit to get this money. Mm. This is... This is this is not honest work for honest pay. No, they got this shit by doing. This some is shady evil ass. men in evil clothes. Yes, this is some shady fuck. I'm giving you these dollars. Dollars of doom. Yes, that's a cool fucking Kratos figure that you're looking at, bro. Sorry again, I'm not interested in talking about this movie. How much is it? A hundred bucks? No, just forty bucks. Oh wow, really? That yeah. one? Yeah. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. I yeah. need, I need that. I need that, man. Like God, I don't have a I don't have a Kratos figure. I want to get the big one that's uh, made for the new God of War. Yeah, but dude, relax. You have a birthday coming up. Right, right. You might get one. Maybe not for me. I already know what I'm getting you, but from maybe somebody, someone. If anyone out there loves me, my birthday is coming up in July. 
you you know what to do. <laughs> but um, yeah, he he <laughs> he just basically says, "Okay, you know what? Fuck it." Vanilla Ice gets up, he takes the drugs and the money, and he just like walks in there, puts the money in the in in Harley Quinn's. Need blood. all the drugs. Yeah, and then it's just like, uh, "Hey, baby, we're gonna have some fun now." It's like, uh, you bring me any sugar, baby? Oh, yeah, for sure, darling. Who gives her, uh, gives her whatever. They the both get mauled by the dog. Package of drugs. Before this, though, he hears the barking from the other room. And he's like, ah, sounds like somebody's already having fun. I'm gonna make you bark like a dog, baby. Rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> and then he just fucking pounds right through the wall. And just fucking gnawing on this dude's face. And then starts fucking chopping on the And the chick starts laughing. Ice. And, and she's just, she's yucking it up. Because that's the only... Because it's funny. It's the only three things she knows how to do is, is you got a lighter, you got, you, you got, you got, uh, you, you alone, or, or laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and her laugh's annoying as fuck. Too. Oh yeah, for sure. That's why she's trying to go for like a Harley Quinn thing, but like... She's nowhere near as mysterious. She's just Fuck, useless. even Harley Quinn. I mean, even Margot Robbie did a better Harley Quinn than she does. Yeah. Like, you you may be like, you may be kind of like rolling your eyes about that. But yeah, she did. She well, I'm, really I'm, did. that's how bad this one is. Even Margot oh, yeah, Robbie definitely. did a better job. This is, this is not as interesting as it could be. No. It's it's really not. The characters in this could you, been... No, this is the thing. You can cut that sentence. You don't need the as it could be. This is not interesting. This is not interesting. No. Because it is interesting in some parts. Yeah. There are certain parts where they could have... Like the chicken. Yeah. They, they took something and they made it... Like they, they polished it up a little in some parts, you know? and Not enough. Uh, it's fun. It's a fun ride. It's just... It's a long ride. Yeah, it's just, it's cheap, is what it is. It's a cheap ride. It's a, it's fun, but it's cheap. And it, it doesn't have really a whole lot of substance like, it's like, to its, to its, to its style. It's like fucking an animal. It's, it is fucking an animal. It's, oh god, it's just like it's, it's so close, but so far. It's, it's literally so close, but so far. It's. It's all, it's all, l- f- like, flashbacks and, and mystery. But there, the mystery in it is kind of pointless. Especially when you get to the end, it's, it's just nonsense. And it could have been, it, it's a fun time. It's fun nonsense. But, <sighs> substance-wise, there's no meat on the bones. There's just nothing. No, the, the, the Rottweiler took it. Yeah, the the Rottweiler. And then we all. meet Kafar again. Yeah, he he gets uh, he gets out of the town basically after stumbling through a bunch of bullshit, and he he sees Kafar come out of his helicopter. And it's like, ah, you ki- you hurt my dog, so I'm gonna kill you. Game over, Frogger. And then uh, it's like, don't you remember your girl, the girlfriend you've been looking for this whole time is dead. She's on that beach. The, my she's dog, been there for a year! My dog killed her. Oh, look, she's pristine. Oh, no, wait, she's not. <laughs> okay, now we're on a helicopter. The dog kills Kafar. And we have a... The, he and Dante and the Rottweiler have a fight in a ring of fire. And then the dog ends up to being a Terminator. <laughs> and then the movie's over. <laughs> Kafar burns alive. Everyone burns alive. Oh, yeah. Nobody, nobody gets out alive except for Nacho and the little girl. Yeah. Like, the only two that survive any of this is Nacho and the little girl. Everyone else, dead. Yep. Dead, 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 And the little girl, honestly, should have been dead, like, way before that. Like, she should have been... She should have gotten got the second her mom got got. Did did your guy get got? Did did this little girl get got? No. No. That's battling. Purely, purely because, purely because her mother put her down in the cellar. Yeah. And let her sustain heavy mental scarring. Yep. From being, from subjecting her to her own horrible death. And naked body. Well, no, not entirely <laughs> naked body. She no. She was wearing she, a nightie. But she did walk in on her having sex at one point. 
Not uh, you crack the door. This movie is garbage. You crack the door. This movie is garbage. <laughs> yeah, the entire sex scene, the entire like rapage scene is also of exposition. Dante being raped by this mother in this house is just all this all this mother's backstory. It's like she used to be a prostitute. She and Then she got pregnant with she Ezra. She kind of enjoyed it sometimes, but then she had uh, Esmeralda and then and then Absolutely. that changed her life. And then and and then she had this husband and while she's saying And the husband all of this, was Kufar. <laughs> it should have been. It fucking should have been. This movie was terrible. <laughs> oh wow. I, there's a couple other little things that I want to talk about. Fine. Just a couple little I've already been here. going 40 minutes on this garbage! Oh, but it deserves it, though. Yeah. But but it needs it, though. <laughs> if, honestly, if we if we get another, like, couple of minutes out of this, it'll be worth it. So, the part where they run out of the door, mm-hmm. and uh, at the house, yeah. like, uh, the mother and the... Dante runs down the hill trying to get the dog's attention. Yes. But the dog, the dog outsports him yet again by being like, huh, we got you at the bottom of this hill, and then we got the mother and daughter running, you know, just a couple of feet away. Like, takes a double take at Dante, mm-hmm. and then goes, might as well hold up a big middle finger and go, hey, <laughs> and then just run towards the mother and daughter. <laughs> and, and that's when the mother dies. Everyone gets to die at some point in this it's one. It's like, like, like he might as well have just like at that point when the dog just runs away, Dante might as well have just like fucking thrown up his hands and just been like, "Motherfucker, why do I even care about these people?" Yeah, <laughs> like, like, okay, la- later, dog. He should have just ran away at that point. Yeah, like, like the mother and and, and it's never explained why he fate. gives a shit about these children, about these characters. This child, okay, I can kind of understand because he's an escaped convict. He's trying to he's trying to keep as many people out of being harmed from his business as he can, even though that literally just amounts to two. Mm. And it's purely because the dog flew out the back of the fucking truck before like uh before the the nacho stopped it. And could save, like, keep the little girl safe. Because mm-hmm. he had, like, an assault rifle and shit. If it wasn't for that, all of them would have been dead. Because if that dog was still on the truck, Nacho would have been eaten, and the little girl would have gotten eaten. Yeah, The little girl probably came the closest to dying from this dog out of everybody. Mm-hmm. And it's amazing. It is just mind-boggling to see, like, how the fuck she survives. It's like, really? Okay. You know, all's well that ends Just some bullshit, but okay. Cujo was a better movie than this. Cujo's a good movie. Uh, Merrick actually explained to me that Cujo, uh, the book version of Cujo, the the mother and... Spoilers. Yeah, spoilers for, for Cujo, in case you haven't watched it, or read the books. I, like, read the book. In the book, the mother and son die. Oh yeah, big time die. And in in the movie, if you've ever watched the movie, they survive. Yeah. Which okay, cool. You know, like the mother actually, you know, gets up the courage to grab that bat, stab the fucking like dog with the broken end of the bat, and then shoot it with the cop's gun. And then the father shows up, and then happy end. But if if it would have ended dark, I still would have been happy with it. Yeah, would be still fine. It would have been a fine movie either way. Yeah, it would have been dark and it would have been fucking... It would have been but a heavy downer. But that's the thing. It's a horror movie. Yeah. It should be dark. Uh-huh. It would have been a heavy downer, though. <laughs> this? Stephen King, he is a downer. He hates children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's That's highly evident. <laughs> But uh, this one, I don't even know if it's actually supposed to even be a horror movie. I think it's supposed to be a science fiction movie. I don't know, man. Because it's set like, yeah, it's set nowadays, right? Yeah. So it's like. But it's also very similar to nowadays, except for the Robo Dog. Yeah. 
It's not like, oh, in twelve, in 14 years, we'll have laser guns and robots. Yeah, it's not too so far-fetched. It's not it like, is... mm, you know what I remember? What? Escape from L.A. <laughs> 2013, now. <laughs> yeah, that was 2013. No. This, I actually first saw that in 2013. This is straight up set 2018, and it's got a fucking robot, like a fucking cybernetic dog. But that's the only futuristic shit it has. No, I feel like it. It kind of, it kind of adds a little more. It's kind of no, got like it doesn't really. If you look, if you look at like the the small things in it, like little tidbits here and there, are kind of a little more futuristic. Mm, yeah, I guess because you got like, uh, you've got fucking, you've got like a a, a scarcely populated, but like, it's uh, Spain. Yeah, but it's still like I feel like it's kind of less populated than it should be, and it looks even more like uh, it looks dilapidated. Like it looks like you said it yourself. It looks like uh, it looks like the fucking shanty towns in like Escape from L.A. Yeah, and it's like yeah, it, it does look like that, and um, and the fucking the what is it like uh, the dog has like weird glowy cybernetics, and it and it, I'm pretty sure it actually has been. Fitted with like battery acid saliva, probably yeah. has been. It's it's got that's some... why that's why his wound never heals on his hand. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure if we got a little more into the politics and everything, I'm pretty sure it's become like it's gotten to the point where like uh, border crossings are basically like uh, like mur- equivalent to murder. Probably like like super like uh like super soldier voice uh, super soldier forces or something. Yeah. And uh, the guy that was in the in the town mm-hmm. when he's walking around in the town, you see like that dude with like the fucking headpiece. Yeah. On him, he he looks like he's kind of got like some gear on Carlos him. Carlos from uh, <laughs> yeah from Vortex. You, you said he looked like Carlos, <laughs> which I I actually know what he was doing uh, after from the zone, not from Vortex, from the zone. Yeah, from the zone. Vortex was the awesome fucking Saturday morning lineup. Yeah, we I, had superhero shit. Mm-hmm. And I know what Paula and him were doing after uh, after the zone and uh, and Vortex. Yeah, it, they went to uh, they popular went to popular mechanics. mechanics for kids. Yeah. Anyway, and I think we've talked about this long enough. What do you give this movie? Oh wow, god damn! It's almost fifty minutes, dude. Okay, I'll uh, I'll score it, man. It'll be a long ass episode. <laughs> <laughs> I will give it three chickens screaming <laughs> out of a total of the fo- the breath of evil. I'll give it the breath of evil. I'm going to give it the Terminator theme song to make it scenes with the Robo Dog actually. Sp- cool <laughs> i'll also give it dante nunchucking shotguns yes <laughs> no we're gonna give it wait it's rottweiler right yeah and it's a cerberus mm. I'm gonna give it the uh no, it's, i'm gonna give it the cerberus from Do- devil may cry 3 <laughs> i give it come on doggy <laughs> no it gets the rid- it's getting the ridiculous triple nunchuck yeah just spinning that shit around yep yeah it kind of deserves that wow Oh, wow. I just have one thing to say about this movie. Watch this. That's what I have to say. I was supposed to be the one to fill your dark soul with light. Woof. See you next week. Bark.